Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is bboss1997 speaking, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating this uh, 2.5 watt laser module that I got off of eBay. I've been eagerly awaiting its arrival, and it came yesterday. Uh, but I was only able to get around to making a video today because I had some college things to work on. Anyway, it's a very uh, small module. It's actually surprisingly small. For comparison, here is my hand for comparison. Here's a screwdriver, and for comparison, this is a standard uh, US plug, so it's quite a small laser. Um, this black part here is an aluminum heat sink. We got a fan on the back and a ring on the front for focusing, and I will make another video on the focusing of this laser later. It came with this nice 12-volt uh, uh, power supply. And I must say, before I uh, proceed with any of the experiments, and I'm sorry about the state of my desk and the focusing of my camera, it's having a lot of trouble recently. I probably should get a new one. Um, I should say, before I proceed, uh, you should probably... I'm going to tell you, I mean, I don't do many dangerous things on this channel, but this, these kind of lasers can be quite, quite hazardous. So I must say, please don't try any of what you saw here uh, at home, because I don't want anybody getting hurt because of a laser. Um, all right, so let's get started. Um, this laser does focus, and that is very, very much fun for it to focus. Um, as a stopper, I have this metal sculpture here, and what we're going to do is, first of all, when you get a laser like this, make sure you get goggles. They're only like four bucks, and make sure they block out the frequency that, I'm sorry, the wavelength that your laser is. Usually when you're buying a laser, it'll tell you the wavelength, so make sure you type in something something nanometer laser. This laser is about 400 nanometers obviously more than that but it's a blue laser so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try uh, use a popsicle stick these goggles don't fit very well over glasses so um, I had to take mine off just uh, an FYI so here we go I'm gonna set it up alright so let's begin this laser is extremely bright um, now the focal point of the laser should be right about there I can barely make that beam out there uh, it's out of focus, but that's because I haven't put anything in front of it now. Well, we're going to start out with a popsicle stick, and I'll demonstrate to you what this thing is capable of. Here we go. Now what I've just done is I have just scored this uh, uh, popsicle stick. It actually cuts through it, which is interesting. I should probably have had my exhaust fan on for that, so um, when we continue, I'm going to keep going here. This is the spot, and the laser does have a rectangular beam, as most blue lasers do. Um, that's not a problem, because all I'm going to be using it for is um, etching or engraving. If you have a focusable laser like this, uh, a rectangular beam should not be a problem. And this isn't the kind of laser where you can just use it as a visual effect because it's too powerful for that and people will get um, injured. Um, I have another 100 milliwatt green laser that you can shine across the room and it won't burn any, anything, as long as you don't look directly into the beam, obviously. But uh, this laser is really bright, so be careful with one of these if you get it. For this next text, I'm actually going to turn my exhaust fan on. This is a wooden box here. This is the inside of the box. Um, I did end up burning through the entire thing, which actually wasn't too difficult because this end plate is a bit thin. But I'm going to demonstrate to you what this laser looks like with the laser goggles 
put over the camera. So we're going to just uh, act as if you have this on. I'm going to turn the laser on now. Now, it's not as bright, obviously. It looks more like you're using an infrared laser than any other kind, because look at this, I mean, here's the difference. That's without, and here's with. Very, uh, very, um, good goggles for the, for the price. I mean, only four bucks, anyway. Really powerful laser. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. More videos to come with this, uh, little laser. Probably going to demonstrate the different levels of focusing you can achieve with it. Um, Alright, so until next time, this is BBoss1997 signing off.